Describe the instruments the hurricane hunters use to collect data on a hurricane. What symbol is used to describe the flight pattern? Which of the four variables shown in the graph is constantly increasing? The Hurricane Hunters are a group of men and women in the United States Air Force Reserve who fly these airplanes into hurricanes to measure the storms. The data we collect are given to the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida, who need to know exactly where the hurricane is right now, how strong it is, and what the winds are like. But, I mean, why do you have to fly into the storm? Aren't satellite images enough? The National Hurricane Center can get very good estimates of hurricanes from satellite, but sometimes the hurricanes don't follow the book. Sometimes it may be difficult to find the eye or center on the satellite picture, or they may be stronger or weaker than they appear on satellite. That's where we come in. The more meteorologists know what the hurricane is doing right now, the better they'll be able to forecast what it will do in the future. In fact, the measurements collected by the hurricane hunters makes forecasts about 25% more accurate than just using satellite estimates alone. This makes a huge difference, especially when you're trying to evacuate people on the coast and save lives. Okay, Val. So. How do you measure a hurricane? Well, Jennifer, we have weather sensors mounted around the nose of our WC-130 aircraft and two weather stations inside. Let me show you. Great. We collect data from different altitudes or heights along our flight path. In addition to these weather sensors, we also drop another weather instrument with a parachute that collects data from other altitudes as it falls through the atmosphere. All of these instruments continuously measure temperature, moisture, air pressure, and winds. The data we collect are immediately sent to the National Hurricane Center. I get it, but how do you know where to fly into a hurricane? Good question. First, the National Hurricane Center calls us and gives us the hurricane's forecasted latitude and longitude. The navigator plots the hurricane's position on a chart, then plots our flight path from Biloxi to the storm. The navigator and pilot then discuss the pattern to fly in the storm. You see, to make accurate measurements, we fly a pattern that looks like an X. We start in one corner of the hurricane, then fly to the center of the X, which is the I, or center of the hurricane. Then we fly out at least 105 miles on each leg of the X, each time coming back to the I. As we fly this pattern, we collect data on temperature, moisture, air pressure, and wind, and see how they change. Two of the most important elements we measure are air pressure and wind. Let's look at this graph of air pressure and wind that we collected in a hurricane that we flew. Okay, well, let me see if I can interpret it. The horizontal axis begins at the center of the eye of the hurricane. Then we have the eye wall here, and way out here we have the outer edge. This vertical axis indicates an increase in intensity. You're right. Now what do you notice about the air pressure and wind in the eye of the hurricane? Hmm, let's see. The intensity of the air pressure and wind is low at the center of the eye of the hurricane but it begins to increase as you get close to the eye wall. That's right, and the lower the air pressure, the stronger the hurricane. That's important information to know. Now let's look at the air pressure and wind at the eye wall. What do you notice? Wow, the wind really increased in intensity at the eye wall, and the air pressure did too. You're right, and the air pressure continues to increase as you get to the outer edges of the hurricane. But if you notice, the wind is at its strongest at the eye wall. But this is just a graph of air pressure and wind. You also said that you collect data on temperature and moisture. What would happen if we added that data to this graph? Well, let's take a look. Oh, check it out. The intensity of the temperature is really high in the eye of the hurricane. And the moisture, well, it's at its lowest. This sure is a lot of information, Valerie. It is. And you know what? A long time ago, weather geeks did not have this volume of information. They would simply look at a hurricane, use their memory, and say, hmm, this reminds me of Hurricane Baker 26 years ago. They would then base their forecast for the current hurricane on what Hurricane Baker did way back then. Today, the National Hurricane Center uses the data we collect from our flight to feed their computer-generated models or simulations of hurricanes. These computer-generated models forecast how conditions change in a hurricane over time. Knowing what the storm is doing right now helps the National Hurricane Center to predict the future path and intensity of the storm. From this information, hurricane watches and warnings are sent out to people along the coast. When people are evacuated to safer areas because of an impending hurricane, then the mission of the hurricane hunters contributes to saving lives.